YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from ShouldIGetIt.com, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit together your polarized shots. So, um, for this video, you need to have a tripod, camera with a polarizer filter, and you need to just practice a lot and play around with it. So, um, I want to show you a quick example first. So, as you can see here, this Porsche GT3 RS in the original file right here, there's a big fat glare through the windshield. Um, and then I wanted to polarize that, so I twisted that polarizer filter on the front of my lens a little bit, got a different frame with a clear windshield, and we're gonna put it together. So let me show you what that looks like real quick. We're gonna be using uh, these files right here of a Corvette Z06. As you can see, this shot has a pretty bad reflection on the driver's side door of the driveway. It's not bad, it doesn't look bad at all, but it does look better uh, and a little more stealthy and dark when it's polarized. But you can see when I polarize the door, the windshield gets all messed up and you can't see through it. So I took two different exposures on a tripod. You can see they line up almost perfectly. And now we are gonna open up Photoshop and put those files together. So basically you wanna export the files once you do your uh, edits. If you do anything in Lightroom, you wanna do that to the raw files. Get the JPEGs together and then what we're gonna do is go to File. Then we're gonna go to Scripts. Load files into Stack. And then we're gonna browse for these Corvette files. So I have Corvette frames one and two. We're gonna hit okay. And those are going to open up. Now you'll see that I have these two files and what I'm gonna do is in help, I'm gonna type auto and then align. Okay, so auto align layers is gonna show up. We're gonna hit that and we're gonna hit auto here and click okay. So as you can see, it moved the frames a little bit and basically what this means is that um, the frames are perfectly one under another. So if I were to turn this frame off, you see the only thing changes is the reflection and the lights are perfectly matched up. Um, so there is no issue at all there, right? So if I didn't do the auto align, let me show you what it looked like before. You can see that the car kind of moves backwards a little bit. So it's a very, very important step and it's gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier. So again, we're gonna go to auto align, hit okay usually takes less than five seconds uh, and it should be done okay so then we're going to name our layers sorry guys this can be a little bit of a long tutorial but we're going to name our layers so this top layer that's on is going to be the driver door right so i'm going to name that driver door and then turn it off to see what's beneath it and this is windshield and front hood windshield and hood right front hood there's only one hood right um so you can see there's reflections in quite a few places, the windows in the back change, but for this video, I'm gonna just focus on the car and then you'll get the idea and you can play around with your own shots. So what I'm gonna do is create a layer mask on this driver door. So I want basically this part of the car to stay and everything else I wanna brush away, right? So to do that, we're gonna hit this button right here, which is add a layer mask. Then we're gonna use our brush. So we can either go right here to the brush tool or hit B on our keyboard, then select a black, uh, uh, black color so to do that let's say I had red you can just press D X at the same time so the letter D and the letter X and then here you can see that white is my foreground color I want it to be black so I'm gonna hit X or hit that to swap colors I'm just trying to show you some tips here if you guys already know sorry uh, so anyways we have black selected now now all we have to do is draw in or brush the black uh, brush on so I'm gonna make my opacity right here about 80% so we're gonna go past the right around 80. And then as you can see, when I start um, putting the black on, it's turning black right here. And that means that part of the layer is disappearing. So what's beneath it shows up. So as you can see, that windshield glare is disappearing. And then that layer beneath shows up. So if I were to mess up and do this on the door right here, uh, it's gonna give me that part of the layer beneath that I don't want, right? Because the whole point was to get rid of this reflection. So the way to do this really well is uh, either zoom in, right? So hit Command plus or Control plus, and then go really small and do this by hand. Or what I like to do is use my uh, Wacom tablet. So I have a pretty simple bamboo here that's like 100 bucks. Probably get it used for like $60 now. Um, and I'm gonna just do this by hand uh, with this tablet. So let me zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna restart this. So let me delete that layer mask. Oops and we'll delete the layer mask and I'll show you what this looks like in real time. So again, we're gonna hit add a layer mask, select black, and then basically I just want the hood and the windshield um, to come back without the glare, right? So I'm just gonna take this, 
I'm gonna start brushing on the windshield and you can see all of a sudden that glare is gone so this second layer right here that we have is helping out a ton so this is before right so we had this reflection on the door and then after that reflection is gone and then again you can see that the reflection on the hood is there so I want to get rid of that so I'm just gonna paint on the hood by hand and you can see that that detail is all coming back I'm getting these nice beautiful lines right and what's really nice about a layer mask is that if we were to mess up right let's say I accidentally made a line right here on the door I can hit X and when you brush white that corrects your error right so basically black makes uh, the layer disappear uh, in that section and white makes it show up right so we have the driver door selected here that's what's stealthy and then we got rid of the uh, hood that had the haze so this is if I disable the layer mask that's what it looked like you can see that the uh, front of the car and the windshield is kind of messed up when I turn the layer mask on we have that nice and clear frame now the last thing to do as you can see these transparent pixels right here we're gonna press R to crop or actually we are not in Lightroom so we're gonna hold C to crop and then hold shift to make sure it's proportional we're just gonna close it down a little bit and select our crop and then you can save the file as a JPEG so that is how you put together a polarized image um, so you need two frames in order to do this right so you need one frame that has one side of the car polarized uh, or one portion and then another frame that has the other so in this case we had the door polarized and in a separate frame we had the windshield polarized so two different frames then we put them in Photoshop auto align then we're gonna create a layer mask on the top layer after naming our layers so we know what's where and then simply brush it in by either zooming in and using a mouse or a trackpad or if you uh, want to do this often Again, pick up some sort of tablet. I use the Wacom uh, Bamboo Pen and Touch. It makes it really easy to make these clean shots. So this is how you get rid of reflections in your photos. Hopefully this video helped. I know it's a little bit lengthy, but if you have any questions at all, or if you want to Skype at some point uh, and get a little bit of advice on your uh, polarized photo editing in Photoshop, let me know in a comment below. Feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram at a car photographer, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.